Am I right? <laughs> ah! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> ah! Where am I? I'm lost in the wilderness. Nah, I'm not. Can you guess where I am? That is the only working lighthouse on the Norfolk coast. And on certain days, you can actually go in there. <laughs> yeah, can't go down here no more. You cannot. My old beautiful coastline with all these dunes, all the sand dunes, now getting corroded and eaten away. No, this is not Hemsby. <laughs> Today, this vlog is, I am taking you on a journey on the North Norfolk coast, coastal road. I am. And you can see the sea defences working here to stop this eroding any further. Now I am at Haysborough. Well, Haysborough used to be a village that is now in that sea. It is. Yes. <laughs> and I have, I've, this is the first thing, this is where I'm starting my North Norfolk coastal vlog today. Right here, there's a little bit of a chill in the air, but it is also sunny. You can see a summer with a caravan. Oh, a bit of salvage gear in here. There's a lot of old tin, a bit of old rubbish. Love a bit of salvage. So I am at, it's actually spelt, and it is called Happersburg. It is. That's the actual village here, roughly now. I've parked the horse there. Now I've left the window open, because that's what I'm like. And I'll just laugh, well, this is all right. I'll just go and have a little look. Look, see, now I want to get to the dangerous bit, because I'm heading this way. This is the, as the southerly point that I'm going to start to do this North Norfolk vlog. Well, let's see how much I can actually take in. All right, darling. All right. And also, all right. Yeah, good day, bucket and spade. Off to the beach for a lovely day. You need a windbreak, darling. Yeah, do. You always need a windbreak. My granddad was king <laughs> of windbreaks. Hey, was, I've got these old houses, man. Lovely old camp I just shoved in the yard. It's proper old Norfolk. And I'm going, oh, this house is gone. I've got my eye on this one. Look, I just pulled in. Don't know if this house, <laughs> Blake Cottage. Wicked looking thing. I mean, look at that. Take away, oh, that's closed. That's a shame, because that's a proper bit of Norfolk. That, that sums up this beach area and the church there. That also opens as well. Um, certain times, you'll have to check the news. Good, eh? See this house. Are you locals? No, but. No? Oh. Come down very often. It's abandoned? Just been left? No, they, they, they've cut me nans. Local, she says that they just come like every now and again. Come every now and then? Yeah. All right, I'm yeah. going in. Go in. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, All right, they come here every now and then, so it's probably not a band, it's probably left to go. Um, and yeah, that church, they've got a real, oh man, look, it's not. It's still occupied, all the old sink, all the old stuff still in here. Oh man, just an old Norfolk house. How they used to build little cottages years and years ago. Oh man, stinging nettles I can handle. Hey, no snakes, no crocodiles, not here. And yeah, that church tower does actually open on certain days. It does. <laughs> I hope we don't fall off the cliff. We are. <sighs> Tell you what, look, you see how, man, there's any mammoth tusks. Man, look, you can see that the degrading is going. Wow, wow, I didn't know what to expect. That's why I brought you here. Have a quick look. Now I run up here, hopefully, I don't start surfing down a bit of a cliff. Oh man, didn't know what was happening now. Look at all this as well. You can access that. Man, oh, I'll just stand on this riggedy, riggedy fence. Man, that tree's about to go. All this is gone. Trees down there, that rock. You may find some woolly mammoth tusks in there. Yeah, mate. Wow, you may also find bits of amber washed up on the beach. You may also, oh man, wicked old boat. I know it's all buggered, but <coughs> I made a wicked planter, wasn't it? Have an out in your garden, 
full of plants and stuff. Oh man, those are salvage gear. Wicked old wood. Like I say, those people said that these people come here every now and then. Wicked place to run that cottage. But time is obviously against them. Right, so I picked this little North Norfolk book up just the other day in the castle mall and it's got oh man it's loads of little places to go to all sorts to see along the way and the back page is full of vouchers oh man save our homes and heritage from the sea protect our farmland look that used to be a road that went all along around there oh man people helping themselves to a bit of brick weave might as well it's all going to waste that's been blocked off so no one nick anymore <laughs> oh, a bit of brick wave. What do? About 15 square metres. There you go. <laughs> right, nice man. They got to get back in the hall, in the cart, and they get off to my next destination. <sighs> but that is Haysborough today. Whoa! It's windy. It's not as windy as it normally is. It's the next <laughs> bit of coastline from Haysborough you will come to is Walcott which basically is this massive coastline here pretty good sea defences <laughs> now that sea is extremely calm today it is the pier as most of these piers have long gone my next little spot up there is going to be Backton where I think I'll go through the gas works oh man but here's you can park all along here there's a chip shop over there. There's a caravan site there. I think they're residents. There's some for sale. Those mobile homes in there. New and used caravans for sale. So, could be somewhere cheap to live. Could be. There's a few caravans, campers all parked up there. Maybe people living on the coastline. <laughs> Which, once I've got my tent on top of there, I might be doing exactly the same thing. Room of a view. Don't know. Anyway, so, so the reason why I've started this job vlog, it, not just because I picked up a free pamphlet, I just didn't know what to do with myself today. Today is Friday. I thought, like, what am I going to do? And I thought, well, the weather's getting better. Skies are clearing. I thought, you know what? On days like this, there's nothing better to do than get on that North Norfolk coastal road and go and have a drive see what's about so that's what i thought i'd do that is what i am doing i don't know how far i'm gonna get uh, but like i say that is it and if you're stumped for something to do this weekend or next week whilst we're still in spring before the main summer get here then uh, there's a guy fishing there people walking their dogs there's more people come with the dogs go for a walk on this nice crisp oh morning norfolk wind sea here it's good for you i'm hoping it's going to clear my nose hope that's all i ever do i live in hope right so next spot i'll see if i can get the dash cam uh, rigged up so i can talk to you in between um locations wow all right i've stopped at mansley right there on the double yellows where these guys they're building up the sea defenses here belfort beatty i just spoke to the guy I asked if the old manor hotel is abandoned. He said, yeah, manor house, look at that, ye old manor house. Beautiful old building, stained glass windows at the top. And look, full cell service, a buffet breakfast for $6.95, <laughs> a Sunday carvery for 11 quid. So it's probably been abandoned pre-lockdown. Oh yes, man, look how big it is. Oh, man, it's all part. It's probably an old boozer. I locked the car up, that's all abandoned. I've got to try and get in. <laughs> Have a little walk about. Village Chippy. Burgers and chicken. Ah, oh, it's closed. Seafood and grill, this is all abandoned. Oh, look at that, that is a beautiful building, this arch window. That is abandoned. <laughs> Someone must be able to buy that. Do it up. Oh man. Building work all going on here. You can't. Oh man, Tuddy's convenience store. That old Dutch house, man. Wicked. 
It is Dutch house, all these. That's, that's what the Dutch built. It is. Bikes look all right. Bike still? I've got a bike. So I'm just... I'll quick run about. <laughs> don't want you boys and ladies. I don't want you guys getting bored with me rambling. Oh, no, no. <laughs> run up a dead end, didn't I? <gasps> Private land, look. Oh, man. Beautiful. I have a little land. What a view. What a view, an old dragon. What a view. <laughs> if they can keep it, it's not going to fall victim to the sea. What a cool, the old wreck, old bakery. Sorry. <laughs> ah, Trimmingham. That's my next destination. Because it Tring Trimmingham. I built a log cabin there. I did. Not on my own. <laughs> uh, with a community centre. <laughs> we stayed there. Oh, that was some place, Tringingham. Oh, man, good. Good memories of when I was a kid. So I just want to go down to this place. All this needs massive investment. Bring back that into a massive hotel. The manor, that's got... Oh, that could be like the Bell Hotel. Used to be in Norwich. It's got the potential. People come to the North Norfolk coast. They have built up, like I say, the north part around Wells. It's just this section. It's a little bit south that is now getting invested in. And one day, it will be, it will all be, as it once was, it will be prime real estate. These places were... Look at that, massive man, all leaded windows in the arch there. A beautiful old house, and would have cost them next to nothing back in the day. I get a free Bible course. Oh man, they're everywhere. They're worse than monks. We have an unexploded bomb. Man, a monthly. Oh, I don't know what you would call this. The Priory. Monthly, but it's just a beautiful village. Man, that's all Belfort, be beaty containers there. So I just want to see what they are building, sea defence-wise. Oh, wow! <laughs> I'm at Southwold, all the old arts. Oh, well, they've been implemented. So where are the sea defences? I don't know. Beautiful coastline of nice, sludgy, brown sea. Oh man, I like it. Oh man, I'm walking on. Um, <laughs> don't walk on the grass in Britain, guys, because it's full of landmines, isn't it? Dog walkers on the grass. I made a bit of a mistake there. Just never know. <laughs> you never know. Could be something embedded in. Oh, I like Mansley. Oh man, really cool spot with lots of potential for future growth. Unsley could, could, like I say, these places haven't gone through the roof with investment yet, but they could do. England is never going to get cheaper. It's not. I know people aren't spending right now, but, oh man, that beautiful statue. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> In the foreground, with that well just there. All part and parcel of that. Oh man, that needs some lottery fundery money. I reckon I could do good things with that. <sighs> Tringingham. <laughs> Trinningham. Trinningham. And look, look at this bench. That's, a, that's donated. Help the heroes bench right there. That is cool. And that is Trimmingham. <laughs> right there. Now, the reason I've stood at this juncture, I just parked the cart just down there. Oh, which is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful country road. This is the coastal road. That will take it to Paston Way. There are a couple of walks. Beautiful flint napped church. But the one thing I wanted to... Uh, I was going to tell you guys a bit of a secret about beachcombing, about woolly mammoth tusks and stuff. Now, there are places that are documented on the TV uh, where, of course, everybody goes. But... I know the best place to do a bit of beachcombing for fossils, a bit of amber, maybe a mammoth's tusk, 
would be right here at Tringingham. Now I thought I was going to be giving away vital information, but look, right here, Deep History Coast. It's actually signposted. <laughs> and it is an old telephone box. Now, what these telephone boxes are, if they haven't been turned into a library, they've been turned into a defibrator. I'm sure that's what it is. Yes, a defibrator. Right there. But we've got Pilgrim House now. <laughs> I don't know if he let me film in it, but oh man, I've just seen Pilgrim House. Look at this. This is right in the corner, <laughs> man. This is awesome. Oh, just like, look at it. It's got old oil tin. Got a bit of old tin there. <laughs> All these old, old smashed up phone box. Beautiful, man. Old greyhound. Can you see the stone greyhound? Got a few stone rabbits and that. Uh, beautiful old Norfolk yard. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's in. He's got an old bus stop. Look, this guy, he, he's been doing as much collecting as what I have. <laughs> I reckon. No, I don't know. But a like, beautiful garden here. It is all private, this, man. Old stuff. These are people, like I say, the old phone book. These people, the old house. It's wonderful. These people, there's old tin plate signs through there. They just don't throw stuff away. No. I could go deeper, but I don't want to get in trouble. I don't. This is a wicked little yard. Prop Norfolk. That's what it is. That's what I'm showing you. It's what real Norfolk it's really like, and that sun is trying. Like I say, this weekend, I'm going down Loop Road, which is a dead end. I did something to show you more of Paston's house there. That is just wicked. It's brilliant. All these old tin sh tent sheds. Ah, oh, man. Now, my park, Norfolk Coast Path, public footpath, is down there. <laughs> so he's got his truck. Look at his yard, man. Boat, old trailer stuck up there. Old bit of a boat just there. Load of old wood, mate. Man, it's wicked. It really is. Beautiful little guide. Man, trimming them. Man, and there is there's something here relating to the deep history coast. Nice what they've done with the pebbles building that. It's really nice. Deep history coast. There is AR tracker image. Ah, so you can find out more information right here, look. Ah oh, man, it'll actually explain it in depth. Cliff changing erosion, which is all happening right there. I'm going for a little walk down there. Morning. Morning, buddy. You all right? Yeah. You local? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? All right. That's I've not, been here for 10 years. That's not your yard in there, is it? No, it's interesting. No, I would have a look in there. Oh. Not too up here then. Pardon? So you up to anything up here? No, uh, no, just just normal pikeian, really. Just pikeian. Pikeian, like that yeah. Lot. That's what I'm doing. Oh mate, it's just. You've got an Essex, um, an Essex accent. Essex? Yeah. Oh, from I, London. No, I don't know. Um, no, I'm from I'm Norwich. South End. You're oh, from so Norwich. I'm from Norwich. Yeah. All right. I, I think I've been away for a while, mate. Too long. Mm. Oh, what have we got here? Polite neighbours, please do not throw bags of dog waste into that skip. I reckon that's riddled with dog waste. And you know the area then? No, no, I've, trimming, I've not been there since I was a kid, buddy, so I'm just like, everything's changed, hasn't it? Yeah, So, oh man, I've got to go in this yard. <laughs> I just like, I'm not really piking, I'm a YouTuber, I'm just showing people uh, what, when they're bored, get on this North Norfolk coastal road. I'm just showing them all the little places. Have you been over the cliffs? No, is that the way? Through there, okay. Amazing. Right, well, I'm going to do. I've got Enjoy, it, mate. and yourself, buddy. Nice to meet you. Hello. Oh, wicked. Oh, pony. Man, that is cool. Nice guy. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a little look in there. Looks like a proper. How am I going to get in? However, am I going to get in? <laughs> There's no signs, no warning signs. It's just waste. Wicked old, oh, old tin plate. No dogs. Oh man. Well, <laughs> I just love old salvage yard, isn't it? All the old tiles, roof tiles, anything, more roof tiles there. Man, old sheds all overgrown, all still bolted. Just for you, it's a wicked storage site. Old bath. Oh man, early butterfly. Whoa, where's he gone? He's rare. Man, where's he? Look, can you see him? He is not a normal 
butterfly to these regions. It's quite a rare one. Well, you guys find out who he is and see how rare that butterfly is. Or oh, that could in fact be a moth. Oh, man, it could. Tin bath. Love all these old ground. <laughs> it's just like this. It's all fenced off. Stop people like me coming in. And that little path there where that guy's now gone will take you to the eroding cliff. Oh. <laughs> I just I just love it, don't I? Love a bit of piking about. Just never know where you're gonna see or how much trouble you're gonna get in. You aren't getting a lot of trouble. People are oh, a wicked bit of slate, look at them. Oh, I needed a bit of slate. <laughs> I do. I don't know if these are old roof tiles. If they are roof tiles, they'll have a little hole in them. No, they're just, man, a massive ant's nest. <laughs> Be careful. Ants I can handle. Beautiful. That slate is awesome. That really is. <laughs> now, dude, I know I said, <laughs> when I say these things, I actually mean it. When I said I need a bit of slate, I actually do. I actually do. Man, that is covered in ants. <laughs> covered in ants. It's all sorts of stuff. I'm just going to leave that there in case I do need it. I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> Wicked barn. Probably a Ferrari in there. A Ferrari Dino, maybe. Why well, we've got summer head closed. Pilgrim's Pottery Workshop is closed. Oh man, perhaps with. Oh man, little fish made of pottery fish. Oh, and the Pilgrim's. Pilgrim's Way post. No. Okay. Go for a country walk. Wicked. What better to do than a nice cool day sitting there in front of the telly? What are you doing now? <laughs> What's your standing? I don't know. <laughs> Should we go out? No, can't go out. It's too dangerous. It's too risky. Oh, it's cool. Oh, man. It really is. So I am walking. I, I, I would like to have um, located the old Tringham log cabins. That was pretty cool. Cool area to go and look at that. I've not been there since I was a kid. Now, all along here, that pretty low, it's just blackberry bush. Now, all blackberries. All blackberries, but I won't suggest picking them here. It's been covered in dog wee. Right, oh man, that's how I'm going. And hope I won't fall off that cliff. Now, yes, yeah, so trimming them. This beach, I've been told by a king beachcomber. Whoa, this is the area. Oh man, oh, it's wicked how it's fell, and and that just looks awesome. It's like a playground to me. <laughs> that does, you can come and sit, sit on this little bench. Wow. Oh, you can see where they've built the secede defences, slowly giving in. But then if you can get, this is the way, you want to get down and, and walk along that coastline there. That is where you're going to find the good stuff. Man, after a heavy tide, but if these are slipping, that's where you're going to find your woolly mammoth tusks. Oh, and there's dog muck I just saw. Lucky enough, I didn't stand in it. Right, that is windy, 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 isn't it? <laughs> it is. So, yes, with regards to, oh, you guys, right, this is quite brilliant news because with regards to finding anything on the beach, and I do mean anything at all, uh, like a woolly, you can imagine you finding a woolly mammoth tusk, right, pristine, preserved. And you'd be thinking, this is a fortune. I'm going to get in so much trouble. You're not. Anything found on the beach, you don't even have to report it. You don't have to register it. All you have to do is find it and keep it for yourself. How brilliant is that? Not sure it's going to stay like that for long because a lot of stuff found on Norfolk Beach is going to end up on eBay. It will. I've even sold stuff um, on eBay regarding what I found off the beach. Wood, loads of tumbled old bits of wood. 
all sorts of stuff I used to flog. Even rope, loads of stuff. Come to, I used to actually go to sea pulling, beach combing after a high tide. And that was the sort of stuff I was looking for. Don't know what I was going to find. A load of fish heads and fish bones all down at the skull end. All good stuff. Job lot, put money back. Man. So I enjoyed that little walker dude. <laughs> oh man, that was all really good. Right, off. I wondered what bird that was. Off to my next destination. My next destination, I am at. That wind has dropped me here, the bird's twitching. This is awesome. I am at Overstrand. Now there is side strand and understrand, but I am at Overstrand. And I've just parked the car at a dead end. That said, the beach, no, right, the beach is to my left. I've come here to the right. And as I can see, there's already another house gone. From all this erosion, see the fences, oh, they really managed to put something in. There's still a road down there. Good day, buddy. Are you, are you local? I am. Is, is that road operational? Which road? What, what that one. Where? Down there. What, the beach? You know, just back here. I don't know if you can see it. There's a road there. Is it? You perhaps never noticed. Walk this, walk this every day for 20 years, oh, never yeah, noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes down to the beach. That, the, and I go oh, yeah. Yeah, that go way. Up, go up and around. Go up around. Brilliant, mate. Yeah, no okay, cool. Enjoy the day, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. I'll try and get on that little road. Ah, oh, man. So where I've parked up here, <laughs> you know why I like to park up? Um, down little side streets where people don't normally go. Oh, man, there's loads of waste stuff up there. Someone's bungalow here. But there is... <laughs> oh, there's someone's house there. There's, there's something there that I've got to go and explore. Now, this is the Hermitage. Ah oh, man, look, there's all this. I'm not going to walk on that property. They'll probably come out and yell at me. Um, but there's, this, <laughs> there's stuff that's fell off a cliff. I've probably stored it from next door. Oh man, lovely looking cottage. Right there. And you can see all this flint. Norfolk is masses and masses and masses of flint. Oh man. You can perhaps see <laughs> around the other side, all this other stuff. Oh man, cool conservatory being built. Oh, all these windows, because, oh, mate, so much salvage here. But like I say, if this Norfolk coast, oh, the size of that bar, didn't see that. <laughs> it's a bit more upmarket. This stuff I don't normally look at. It's all upmarket. I ain't got to find anything interesting in an upmarket. Oh, I don't know. No, this place, I'm on the high street. Look at this place, right? This is, this is like, where I'm now going to see? This is like out of a movie, guys, this is. I've got to go in because this has blown me away. This is like, who lives in a place like this? Or who did? I don't know. It's all... Oh man, there's built loads of stuff inside. Man, but wicked. Good little garden. Ah oh man, collecting all them blue bottles. Wicked. Brilliant. Oh man, someone, there's someone living in this. I'm going to vacate. I thought it was all abandoned. That's what I want to look at next door. So I'll go there, but what an incredible looking house this is. <laughs> There's a window open. Ah, oh, I'm free. You don't want to freak, I don't want to freak people out. No, but I've got to have a look at this. I've got to. This is what I saw when I know rode up here, and I thought, like, no way, man. <laughs> what is this all about? So let's go in. Let's have a little look. Oh man, all these old lobster pots just racked up here. This is probably, man, the rope. Like I say, the amount of stuff has been salvaged. Oh, look at that, I love rust. <laughs> just wicked piles of rock. Mate, wow, oh, that rope. All these fixes and fins, man. What a guy, man. Great big spider made out of wood, all this wood. Wow, well, it, it all looks like it's been tumbled in the sea. All this raw iron, rusty, stuff everywhere. This stuff, it does, it look really, really weathered. Or oh, that looks like it's been weathered or tumbled in the sea. Don't know what they were gonna make with that. Someone's fencing. 
Oh, it is sad in the way. All these little stones have all been piled up as if they've been to the Himalayas or to Everest. Right, and they're just all graded out. Oh, and a wicked looking area. Oh, it's very artistic. It's very nice. Somebody's little haven this once was through the bamboo. The old bamboo, the old bamboo. Size of it, all these sleepers. Railway sleepers for a nice edge. Nice bit of garden ornaments. <laughs> Crazy. Mate, and look at all these lobster pots. I've never seen so many, ever. Not even an operational. A whole wall built of lobsters pots. Beautiful house next door. Still there. Man. It is a proper day to be out discovering. <laughs> this would have been someone's house. It may still be someone's house. They're a bottle hunter. I still got the ball bearings in, look, the marbles, the glass marbles. Has he collected? Oh man. Wicked stuff, all this. It's all tumbled and nice. Great big lump of wood. All this stuff, all railway sleeper stuff. Oh man, what a massive place to collection. That's all locked up. Guys, I wouldn't mind living there. What a place to live. He has his bonfire. Probably. Oh man, more. More lobster pots and more. This guy, I reckon, was a lobster pot guy or a lobster hunter. Oh, mate. Wow, and looking down, okay, the council down there doing the sea defences, but you can see it's all crumbling away. It's all crumbling away. Oh, man, all this amazing looking place. Just all this just going to waste could make use of all this stuff and it all looked like it's been dragged up from the sea because it's so weathered and tumbled oh man this would have been someone's dream it would have been look at these man all these old great big oh man they would have come from a building size of that bit of wood <laughs> they would have been they would have been main beams weren't they holding a massive house up they would have been as they would have been Brilliant. Wow. God, mate, I do like massive stone with a hole in it. <laughs> I do like stumbling around. Oh, mate, this is under. It's under construction. It's all good solid wood. Looks a bit funny on the outside, but on the inside, it's like, oh, man, there's a little ladder to go up there. How cool. That is a cool thing. Ah, oh, mate, cool place to be. Ah, oh, mate, well, wicked place to live, if only for a short time. Man, all this stuff, all just going away. There's just so much of it. More and more and more. Look at it. This rope. Wow. Wow. I wonder if the guy will set up old oh, fish ponds. So if you find that bit wood, that's worth a lot of money, especially like that. Oh man, this is really cool stuff, mate. Really cool stuff, right? I spent too much time in there. <laughs> I have. That is awesome looking thing, whatever that is. I don't know if it's a seat or a lampshade. <laughs> Big old lampshade, I know. I was a gas cooker there. I do need a gas cook. What an incredible looking sight. Right, this has been a little insight into Trimmingham. Oh man, if you're watching, if you own that property, let us know. I'll buy all them lobster pots off you. I'll rent that off you. I'll buy that. I will buy that off you. I will. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Just get in contact with me. I'm sure you'll find a way. Love to own that. That'd be amazing. Right out of the way. Really good. Alrighty, I've just been, parked a car down there. I'm about to drive off there to my next destination. But <laughs> this thing on the right here took my eye out. <sighs> Georgian, I think. I think all this beamy type stuff was all done by the Georgians. 
Oh, I see it looks like some gardens on the other side. So if you're coming along the coastline and you get to Trimingham, well, you could even stay here tonight. They'd be boarding. They do. And you can go right in there. Looks a bit posh. <laughs> yeah, it does. I reckon you need a little bit of budgie. Yeah, will. But you can stay there. You can eat. You can drink. Ah, I can get in there. Oh, someone coming out of the wheelchair. I don't know if there's someone coming out to... Oh, you can't film here. No, someone just coming out in a wheelchair. So I just want to have a look here. It's cool, eh? Wicked. Old leaded windows. All these old beams, these old house. I'm sitting here. Oh, man, I thought for a minute, I know I thought this would be landscaped. <laughs> for a minute, I thought I saw a swimming pool. No, man, look at that. Wicked. What a lovely garden. It's beautiful slate. It's not slate, it's sandstone in the colour of slate grey. It is, a whole path. And we have got a swimming pool. If you're a bird, that old Victorian had this head nicked. Man, wow. It is such a beautiful little place. You can probably stay in them bungalows. It's little chalets or holiday homes. Now being developed. Cool spot. And it's all done properly. The grass has been cut. Man, this is how to do upscale. <laughs> Look at this place. That is quite something. Place to stay. It really is. Oh man, cool. So I'm really glad I've wandered in here. <laughs> oh man. God, there's his camera. Give him a little nod. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> Get his happy, put the thumbs up. Free promotional for this place, that's what it is. And I tell you, if you're gonna come and plan a North Norfolk coastal ride, drive to visit a lot of these places, then this place right here, I love the chimneys up there. What a beautiful place to come and stay. Now I'll take it as a guess, I'll bet. The beverages and the food in there is top notch. Well, Will, I'll take a wager on that. There's no way that that is going to be a poor establishment. No way. And look, that is the Sunday roast beef carvery. Oh man, that looks really good. I'm starting to get a bit peckish. I am. The day is getting long, so I've got, I'm going to end. I'm going to have to do a North Norfolk part two. But I just saw this, Rocky Bottoms. <laughs> On the side of the road, this sign, Rocky Bottoms. Oh, they're open every day. They do crab and lobster. As you can see, all these old lobster pots. Right. <laughs> so I haven't eaten anything today. It is open. So I'm, I'm going in. Mate, that bloke, I was going to see if I could speak to him in his yard. You all right if I film? It's okay. Can I film you? No. No, all right. Yeah, I take it you're the guy who do all the work, though, are you? No. 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 All right. Do you still use these lobster pots? Yeah, you want Richard for that. For Richard. All right, mate. That's just a wicked yard you got there. I'm going in for some crab. <laughs> the crab shack is right here. Sorry, mate. Do you mind being on camera? Do you mind? Been on camera? Been I'm just vlogging about the Norfolk coast, telling people what to do on a sunny day when they don't know what to do, get on that Norfolk coast. When I started at Haysborough, Did you? I got as far as there. And you got lost? I got hungry. You got hungry? I got hungry. Well, if you're hungry, you got to go down there and get something to eat. Where, where, down where, down there? Yeah. That's where they're, there. Yeah, go you down there. I'll go down there then. Go but, down there, boys. All right, but, okay. Cheers, I've just got to lock the motor. All right, mate, wicked. That's what the man said, go you down there, but. <laughs> Certainly, <laughs> I will do. But just before I come in here, you know, I've got loads of mates who do loads of interesting things. Well, one of them's a taxidermist. And it is, I've, I've actually picked up, <laughs> I pick things up for him on the road all the time. I do, so I've actually picked up a bit of roadkill. Now, my friend, the taxidermist, Mr. Frosty, Mr. Frost, he also is a vegetarian, yes. So look, Mr. Frost, if you're watching, you're gonna be very pleased when I come and see you today, cause look, I found on the side of the road, Mr. Squirrel, he's in pristine condition, mate. I also saw a stag, <laughs> I did, but 
I ain't getting in the motor, is it? No. So I am. I'm, I'm on yellow. So I'm quickly going to go down. <laughs> Loves the whole boat. Man, we rocky bottom. Big old deck chairs. I guess where they do most of the work, accessible parking. I oh, see so you can probably park that, mate. All these lobster pots everywhere. Someone's having a bit of a burn up on there. So I reckon we're open. Crab pots, 50 quid. There you go. Crab net. Oh man, deck chairs, 70 quid. So, man, all this again. Man, slate looking sandstone. So, you know how much the stuff costs. Right. Oh man, ain't that here to be greeted? and seated. I got my wallet. No, I haven't. <laughs> I ain't got my wallet with me. No way. <laughs> I come out. That's this where my wallet live. No. <laughs> oh my God. That's the first time. Man, I could have, I'm glad I checked I had my wallet before I went in. I can you imagine if I'd gone in and ate loads of crap and a cup of well, a beer and then and I had my wallet. I'll come out, uh, I'll come out without me wallet. I can't believe that. That's restaurant the whole day. I could not have a feast on crab, nor, oh, cheers you guys for watching this vlog till the end. Because I love, mate, I can't believe I've done that. Still, not a bad place. To end my vlog. That is wicked. To sum up, like I said the North Norfolk coast, just use that. It's a wicked backdrop where you can come and have crab and lobster. So next time, part two, I'll start the vlog right here. I will. This is where I'll come. I'll have a big old feast up and then I'll go and start my vlog. <laughs> How about that? Coming out without your wallet. Here you go, there's a first thing, first time for everything, I guess. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I've got half a tank of petrol. I can get back to Bumwell. That's all right. <laughs> Go and look for my wallet. <laughs> I've got no money. Oh, hang on. I ain't. I ain't got no money or nothing. Right. So, guys, I appreciate you watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'm not going to go back, back home and look for my wallet. And so, until next time. Au revoir